the Botswana University of Agriculture and Natural Resources, or BUAN, recently hosted its students to a business establishment workshop in collaboration with Israeli counterparts. Some of the essentials that the students needed to remember when starting their small businesses included not overcomplicating their concepts, focusing on the market instead of the product, always overestimating their costs, and to establish a support team as well as to understand the commitment behind starting up amongst others. I'm so happy to meet so many students. They are so much passionate about what they do. And personally, I'm also very passionate about agriculture. I spent eight years of my life um, in Netafim, in Israel, um, and many, many years in, um, in other industries as well, including um, as the CEO of, of an organization that is promoting entrepreneurship within different groups in Israel. So for me, it's so exciting to see the students, how they really want to establish their own businesses. And now is the right time for them because they learn so much and they are such um, experts in their fields. And now it's their time, you know, to move forward and to establish their own businesses in order to develop themselves, to develop their communities and um, the society as a whole because we think that you know agriculture is really um, so important to the livelihood of so many people and they will be part of this as well. In September 2017 the Sarot Negev Regional Council of Israel and the Botswana University of Agriculture and Natural Resources or BUAN signed a memorandum of understanding which established a student training program between the two institutions. We, we came to Botswana as, um, as representatives of the Israeli government through the Mashav program, which is a program which be, it's been active in Israel since the 50s. It was started by the first female prime minister, Golda Meir, and uh, Mashav believes in international cooperation, and specifically the MCTC in Haifa, Israel, um, is their expertise is innovation and entrepreneurship, and as a result of a very long-standing connection and wonderful relationship between the country of Israel and the country of Botswana, um, we've established many ways of doing joint cooperation. A um, couple years ago, we started a mentorship program and we had students from uh, Boan come to Israel for 11 months and they did practical work and they saw how the Israeli technology and agriculture was being so developed in a very desert area and as a result a very strong connection was made. So this course was uh, designed to leverage the experience that the students had in Israel and now to be able, as because they're graduating, most of them are graduating and so once they're able to, they had the experience in Israel, they're able to, they, once they graduate, they're able to take those skills and use them in the course to develop their businesses, their ideas, and particularly in agritech. During their agricultural entrepreneurship workshop, the students had to identify a need, identify areas where they could enjoy some competitive advantage, develop a business plan, and refer to their mentorship training from experienced agricultural entrepreneurs in Israel as part of an exercise that they had to present and later generate an income. I'm currently doing third year and I'm studying agricultural economics. And I've had the privilege of being part of this great program that we are currently having here as Buang. Uh, this program is an exchange program in between Buang and the Israeli government, whereby Buang attaches students at Israel for a period of 11 months. 
and I've had the privilege of being one of the first students to participate in this particular program. So we came back last year, yeah, around, I think it was August, yes, we took 11 months there. So today we're currently having a workshop whereby it's an entrepreneurship workshop whereby we have experts from Israel that are here to come and impart entrepreneurial skills on, on us uh, as future agricultural entrepreneurs. So I think this is a very great initiative by the Israel government both in, with Guam because now we know that when we graduate we have the skills, we have been parted with the skills because the 11 months program gives you the practical skills and it's, it exposes you to the field, the practical field in Israel. You meet different experts in Israel, you meet different companies in Israel, you also meet uh, professors, lecturers there who have been in the field for so long. So in that way, we have the, both the physical experience and we also have the theoretical experience that we are currently being imparted now in this uh, two-month workshop, I mean two-weeks workshop, yeah, so to say that. As part of the exercise, the students had to be made to understand the reality that even if they believed their new product ideas were a guaranteed winner, testing the market before they launch could help them tweak what they are selling or how they are selling it, helping them maximize their profits. Product marketing tests allow them to evaluate multiple aspects of their business strategy before they commit their entire budget. Uh, today we are here with my group. We are doing some form of entrepreneurship. Uh, this is an incentive or initiative that came from the Israel government to those students that had a chance to go and study in Israel. So basically what we are doing here is a form of entrepreneurship. We are going to, we had to sit down in groups and decide on what we would like to sell. And then from that point, we had to come and sell that product. And then we evaluate everything, the cost and everything to see as if whether it can be a successful business that someone can love to venture into or what. So this is basically what we are doing today in this mall in Airport Junction. This was one of the highlights for the Buan students as they also exercised the spirit of giving. The income that we made from the sales we are going to donate to Tulofelo uh, Charity Fund. And this is a very exciting thing to be handing over this gift to you. We trust that even the Lord will bless our ways as we uh, you know, venture into our different uh, business ideas that you guys have been going through. So Botswana and Israel continue to make steady efforts towards further deepening and broadening the scope of the two countries' bilateral cooperation. And despite the vast distance between the two countries, they shared a similar climatic conditions characterized by persistent drought and dry seasons. Israel has managed to develop some of the best farming technologies that are now being adapted to Botswana's conditions. Some of the worthwhile lessons that students who had been sent to Israel and were graduating recently included understanding the physiology of plants, growing vegetables indoors, pest controlling and quality controlling in vegetables growing, to mention a few. This program is a Botswana-Israel student exchange program which has been carried out in coordination with the Israel Ministry of Agriculture through the Center of International Agriculture Training and Cooperation. And this is a bilateral agreement with our government. That is why the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security here is the sponsor. And Buang has been delegated the responsibility to make sure that the program is delivered. The objective of the program, if we may uh, refresh on it, is to expose Botswana students to advanced agricultural production technologies found in Israel, which has similar desert conditions as Botswana. So we can see why Israel. Because if you go out there, uh, Botswana will be asking why Israel. 
but let's underline similar desert conditions as Botswana. So thank you, Israel. And the program itself, what does it include or what does it entail? I think it's also important for us to reflect on it because when they go out there, we don't want them to go there and do the same thing, all of them. I know this morning the judges did a very good job. We also followed them and pretended to be judges because we are going to be your customers. So I think we are also allowed to judge you. Um, we know they went there to start physiology of plants, principles of irrigation and fertilization with drip irrigation, growing vegetables indoors, greenhouse and net houses, and outdoors, pest control, growing flowers indoors, growing vegetables in break breakish water, I saw something earlier on, quality control in vegetable growing, economics of agriculture, irrigation computers, basic computer course to empower you entrepreneurs, internet applications to empower you to reach the world, research and development centers in Israel. You can see that the program is very rich and all-rounded. For his part, the Minister of Agricultural Development and Food Security, Honorable Fidelis Molao, who recently visited Israel, pointed out that he met the management of universities and research institutions which are collaborating with Buwan, as well as 35 students who have been attached in Israel at the various farms where they are acquiring practical skills. And I'm happy to inform you that the project seems to be a huge success and the students are happy and looking forward to complete their studies and start their own project in line with the experience that they are currently acquiring on the farm experience they are acquiring in Israel. The first group of students who completed their attachments are already doing their final year at Buang and the current crop are due to complete their attachment uh, very soon. The Buan team here will also provide a little bit more flesh on what this collaboration is all about. We also met management on the Technical College at Teneret and the Agricultural Research Organization just outside Tel Aviv and we further discussed more areas of collaboration which we'll be following up together with Buang and other stakeholders to further benefit from the expertise that the Israelites have amassed over, over the years.